Hey guys, welcome to Behind the Fan, and we are so excited to introduce you to some of the fans behind your favorite fan accounts. Hi, I'm Ben. Hi, my name is Talia. We, we run, run OR Tour updates. updates. I became a fan of Olivia back in 2021 when she dropped Deja Vu. I knew of her through driver's license, but I didn't really listen to that that much. But then I listened to Deja Vu and Good For You and I was like, oh, these are good songs. And then my friend and I stayed up for the release of Sour and listened to it. For me, I can't even really remember when I became a fan of Olivia. I know I'd always like followed her throughout when she was on Disney and all of her kind of early stuff. Once she started releasing her original music, I definitely hopped on the train of listening to all the stuff she was putting out. I really like Happier just because in Cincinnati, we did a fan project for that song. So that song just like holds a special place in my heart. From High School Musical to Musical the Series, I really like the song You Never Know. It kind of just like gives me motivation. I have to go with Happier as well. That one was so fun. Also, the energy during Good For You was just crazy. Seeing that performed live really shot that one up on my list of favorite Olivia songs. I definitely think Good For You just because it's so upbeat and I really like how upbeat it is and it's also a really good workout song. I would say my favorite Olivia song is probably Favorite Crime. I feel like that one is overlooked a little bit. I saw her once in Cincinnati. I saw Olivia in Cincinnati and then I also was able to see her in Nashville at the Grand Ole Opry. My favorite part would probably be meeting all like the mutuals on Twitter and stuff. Definitely like seeing people that you see on the internet and then like seeing them in person, it's like crazy. I think what's really cool about being a fan is just like being surrounded by people that love and support the same artist as you. I think that feeling is just incredible. Along with just like meeting people that you've been talking to online for like months in person finally, is probably just like the anticipation and the excitement leading up to the actual show. Being there with everybody for the same reason, and it's probably my favorite thing. So the artist I've seen the most times is the band Why Don't We? Unfortunately, they are not a band anymore. But I saw them four times. The artist I've seen the most would probably be Taylor Swift. She was my first concert, which was 1989. And then I went to Reputation. And then I've been able to see her a few times just at like other events. She accepted Songwriter Artist of the Decade at the National Songwriter Awards. So I got to see her perform all too well there. And then I was able to go to the Grammys this year. So I saw her there. And then somehow the Swifty gods have blessed me with multiple dates of era tour tickets. I would probably have to say Taylor probably. I guess then Harry and Olivia. I feel like those three are like the classics. I would want it to be Taylor Swift, SZA, and let's just throw in Harry Styles. I've been getting more into Gracie Abrams and I know Gracie opened up for Olivia on the Sour Tour. So I think seeing a collab with those two would be super cool. I've always wanted a Olivia and Tate McRae collab. I love their music and they both are great live performers. Something that's super cool is like running it for the fans and like a lot of them like seem to enjoy it, which like makes me feel good that people enjoy the stuff that we put out. Since both Ben and I want to work in the music industry, it's opened like some doors for us at like some of the major labels, which is insane. So I think that's also a cool aspect of running this account. I really enjoy running the fan page, especially when Olivia was on Sour Tour. It was, we were able to like provide insight to people that maybe weren't able to get tickets to the show. Being able to be a part of kind of like Sour Tour and show people what it was like was probably one of my favorite things that has happened with the account so far. Libby's HQ followed us on TikTok and then they asked us 
for like our addresses and to send us a PR package that she was doing with Glossier at the time, which was just super cool. So I think that was definitely one of my favorite memories, just like getting a package like that from Olivia and her team. For the Cincinnati Sour Work Tour date, I decided to wait outside for an excessive amount of hours with my friends. We secured a set of barricades, which was super fun. During Good For You, she actually hopped off of the stage and decided to like run down along the barricade. So she came down and apparently she like hopped up on the barricade and like used my head to like balance herself. And there's like a picture of her like just holding my head. And I it like surfaced around Twitter and I somehow found it, but I was like, that can't be real. I don't remember that. <laughs> and then I posted the video on my story, which she then reposted on her story, which was super cool. After the show, Olivia DM'd me, like just saying, thank you for coming to the show. I feel like for me, I mean, obviously I'd want to give her a hug. I'd be like, oh yeah, like I've like Ben and I've been working on the fan page for you since Sour Tour. And I think that'd be super cool to like mention to her. If anything, I would just tell her about the fan page and be like, hey, <laughs> this is something fun we've been working on. I would probably say embrace being a fan. Be who you are like with other fans and make some great memories and go to the concerts that you want to go to. Have a good time with it. I would say the exact same. Retweet. That's my answer <laughs> to it.